Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're reading a story called God Gave Us Thankful Hearts by Lisa Ton Bergren and by art by David Hone. Is that it? Home. Hone. Sorry. Oh, these pictures are so nice. David Hone. Well, there you are, little pup, Mama said. Why are you looking so glum? I don't know, he mumbled. I'm just sad. How can you be sad on such a beautiful day? Because the leaves are changing colors and soon it will be winter. I like spring, summer, and fall when I can play with all my friends. Hibernating season is boring. You'll still have some friends about come winter, and there's a reason for us to be thankful in every season, little pup. We need winter to let the land and some of your friends have a rest. Otherwise, we wouldn't get spring. But everyone is going to be hibernating, he grumbled. The chipmunks and bears, the badgers and bats, even the raccoons, beavers and squirrels won't come out much. What about the skunks or bees? You won't see much of them either, Mama said. Little pup smiled. I guess I could be thankful for that. We can be thankful for how God paints our forest every autumn, Mama said. Yeah, but I'm not thankful for poison ivy, little pup said, remembering the time he rolled in a patch by accident. It makes you so itchy. True, but you can be thankful you know how to avoid it now, right? I guess... Oh, and I'm not thankful when my pack buddies get too ram rambunctious with me, little pup said. Rambunctious, you mean? Yeah, that. Mama giggled. But you can be thankful you have friends who will be around all winter, right? They will keep you from being lonely. Maybe... The trick to having a thankful heart, Mama said, is thinking about the things that make us happy rather than the things that don't. Hmm. Like what? Well, that's easy. I'm thankful for you, she said, squeezing him tight. Being your mama has made me one of the happiest mamas in the whole wide world. And you, little pup, what makes you thankful? Well, you and Papa, of course, he said. And I'm thankful for fishing. I like fishing too, Papa said, but God gave us thankful hearts so we could praise him even when we don't catch fish. What? That's crazy talk, little pup said. It's not, Papa said with a smile. We can be thankful for this last bit of autumn and time together beside this beautiful river, even if we don't catch any fish. I'm thankful we go to the Harvest Festival every year, little pup said. But I didn't like it when we got lost in the corn maze. There they are, lost in the corn maze. (laughs) 
Me either, Mama said, but we found our way through, right? We can be thankful for how God shows us the way, even when it seems a little scary. Yeah, and that we're not alone in those times, little pup said. Yes, now you're getting the hang of having a thankful heart. My heart is thankful for apples, little pup said. Mmm, Mama said, and hot apple pie. Oh, yes, and caramel apples, Papa said, or baked apples with ice cream. I love apple picking. Have you ever been apple picking? So much fun. I'm thankful for the freedom to wander and explore, Mama said, and for this pretty country we live in. Me too, little pup said. You know what I'm thankful for the mostest, little pup said? Dessert. And for dinner beforehand, Mama said, lifting a brow, something healthy in our bellies before all this sugar. <laughs> I'm thankful for our cozy, warm home, Papa said, especially as winter draws near. Little Pup had to admit he was really sleepy as he yawned and climbed the stairs toward bed. He felt so thankful that he was with his mama and papa inside and not out in the damp forest or cold, wet snow. I'm glad I don't feel sad anymore, little pup said. I'm glad God gave me a thankful heart. Us too, little pup, mama said. We all have so much to be thankful for. Little pup drifted off to sleep with a smile on his face, thanking God for his friends and family and for fishing and for corn mazes and for apples. And for changing seasons, even for the end of fall. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure that you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.